Right. Yeah. Oh, we're here. Hey, look. I'm finishing up my sorrel here. I'm finishing up the sorrel. I might as well mix it with my. Uh, should I put the cranberry? So, no, sorrel and sorrel and pomegranate. Yeah. So a little bit of sorrel. I'll finish this up right now. I put my pomegranate concentrate in there. Nothing but pomegranate. There we go. That does it good. Okay. Oh. My B12. I forgot what B12 was for again. It's for something, but I don't take it every day. I take it every third day, whatever. I'm going to be doing with this stuff. Okay, here we go. Wow, I love this song. Ah, got to get me some sea moss. Okay. So look. I was thinking, you know. I know. Oh, really? Uh, you know, what kind of thoughts that you have? Big thoughts, small thoughts, whatever kind of thoughts. Here's what I was thinking. We're almost at that point. People are getting to the point where they realize, okay, wait a second. Things are not going back to normal. Now, some people say it's a new world order. They've been saying that for years. Well, the question is, whose new world order is it going to be? <laughs> I hear people say, gotta get rid of 45. Then people say, oh, this is gonna have that. Everybody's waiting for something to have then reacting to it. The question is, you know, well, you know, I know you have faith and some people have hope, or people are giving up hope because they have faith or they don't know if they have faith, whatever the situation is. Well, let me put some more light on the case here. Let's see, let's some more light on the case here. Yeah, I like the more light. So, the, the question is, do you, the reason why I'm laughing, because to me, this whole thing is super ridiculous. You know what I mean? If they're going to, if they're going to do something, you've got to do, you, you can't react to what they're doing. Otherwise, you'll be in their little spin, you know, their little turmoil, you know, their little chaos, you know. What you have to do is what you, what, what, here we go. Here's what's the phrase. What you're going to do now, Buckwheat. In other words, something has happened. It's not how did it happen? Oh, the, 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 whoever is doing this, they're, they're, sending, they're unleashing this on us, so they're going to do that on us. That's done already. We got that. <laughs> you, know, you got to get rid of whoever. Yes, we all know that. The question is, what's your policy to get rid of whoever? What's your new world order? In other words, if there's going to be a new world order, why are you waiting for them to give you a new world order? What's your wish? What, that, uh, huh? Okay, I promised myself I'm gonna make these things kind of short. I'm gonna, I have to do it a different way because I'm, I'm not posting up every day like that. I think I'm gonna spread it out somehow to get. To, ah, I'll, I'll figure something out. Right. Anyway, I just wanna thank you for spending a little bit of time, but I need you to send this time that you're spending with me, not spending it with me, but to spending it in your own head to figure out your own agenda for your own future. That's a little message from me. T, from the Patterson taking the trains to bed. Letting you know what I only suspect from an ADOS. That's right now. ADOS. Reality. Oh, look at that. Who do I have now? It's not. I think that's some. Um, who do I have? I think that's, uh, I think it's, is it Malcolm? No, it's uh, Martin Luther King and uh, Honorable Andrew Elijah Muhammad, which is interesting because in this day and age, right? What you should be doing is like, remember, when you think of Martin Luther King, you think of religion and politics or movement. You know what I mean? Policy. Well, policy. Right? If you think of Elijah Muhammad, you think religion, right? And you think of diet. You know? That's what you need. Fortify your immune system. There you go. 